Hello everyone, my name is George Slatkovsky and today we're looking at a new update for GS Toolbox version 1.1.6. The main thing about this update is of course the support of Maya 2023. So as you can see, I have 2023 over here and it works just fine. Every function was tested and it should work, but if there are some bugs, please uh, do report them. So that's about the support of uh, 2023. Everything should work just fine. Now let's go to the new features. Now one of the main improvements in this version are duplicate and extract functions. Now uh, uh, you already had them before and if you don't know what they do, they basically allow you to uh, duplicate and extract uh, components from your mesh without all the messy subgroups and groups that uh, Maya creates in the outliner. So for example, if I go over here and make something and uh, duplicate face over here, you'll see that we have a group that creates two objects inside uh, the hidden transform node over here and it's all very messy and if you start to uh, like duplicate and extract, um, if you start duplicate another face and another face over here, face selection I mean, we also see that we have a lot of stuff over here. Uh, of course, you can just select everything and shift P and delete the history and you will get your objects here. But uh, uh, the my, my main issue is that it changes the names and uh, I really don't like that. So I've created those duplicate and extract buttons that basically mirror the um, duplication and extraction uh, functions from Maya, but they actually make it much more cleaner in the outliner. So for example, if we take this thing and uh, click duplicate, you'll see that it, uh, it will give you the same result, basically, that you had before. So your main object that was unchanged and your face uh, selection that you um, actually extracted. But now in the outliner, you'll see that uh, you actually have two objects. You can continue to duplicate and extract uh, uh, those faces and don't worry about uh, all of the uh, extraneous groups and stuff that uh, were created here. So very clean. Uh, now, uh, the main update for this is, first of all, duplicate uh, algorithm was improved, so it should be a little bit faster and, in general, uh, more reliable. But the extract thing uh, is now much better because before, let me just, uh, for example, create two objects. So I've detached those components. So now those are, uh, components are a separate shell. So a shell in Maya means that uh, the object is connected, but uh, it has uh, like two unconnected parts like that. Mm. So now we have two shells, right? And before, if I tried and to, uh, tried to extract or duplicate this part over here, uh, this shell that I've created over here, as you can see, uh, it would be affected as well, right? So it will separate this shell and the selection. So that was very um, annoying. But now if you try to extract or duplicate, it will only extract and duplicate the selection and it will not touch all of the shells that you have on your object. So the object will, uh, object will not be separated. So let's just extract, right? So as you can see, uh, let me just uh, hold shift because we have shift modifier over here. So by, by default, extract will just uh, cut the object into new shell. And if you hold shift, it will actually separate this object as well. So now you'll see that you have a separated shell over here as a new object and your old object, old object has two shells over here that were not separated. So uh, this will not affect your original object at all and you can continue modeling uh, like just like that. And the same thing goes for duplicate. So before, if I tried to duplicate something from an object that had two or more shells, I would get a uh, weird result where I uh, duplicate this uh, face selection and also one of the shells. So that was uh, fixed in this version. And if I now duplicate this, you'll see that I, I get only the selection and the original object just stays as it was, no changes at all. So this is a new duplicate and extract functions. The functions are old, but the improvement uh, improvements are new. So the next update is for the selection groups. So before you could, uh, let me just create another sphere. 
So before you could uh, like select uh, objects, select the components and just add them to the group and uh, clear them from the group. So you, you, you could add same components for uh, different groups and actually add objects as well. So let me just create another sphere over here somewhere, right? And add it over here. So great, now you have all of the selection groups and you can reselect those uh, objects and components um, anytime you want. It's really fast and you can just clean, the, uh, clean them up like that. You have marking menu over here. Uh, but in this app update, you now have the ability to actually use Boolean commands, uh, the Boolean logic, not the Booleans that actually cut, cut objects, right? But the Booleans, it means like the sets, for example, adding, subtracting or um, finding an intersection with selections, right? So let me just explain it really quickly. I have a selection of uh, faces uh, right here, right? I add them to this zero layer, uh, zero selection set. And now I, I will add, for example, this selection to the first layer, right? And now what you can do, you can select this one or this one, and you'll see that uh, it has different selections. But now you can actually drag and drop one layer um, to another layer. And if you hover over the layer, you will see that uh, middle mouse button drag and left mouse button click modifiers shift control shift alt and control alt for addition subtra subtraction and intersection for example if i click middle mouse button you'll see i have a small arrow near my um, uh, cursor right that means that i can actually drag and drop it anywhere i want i can just move the, uh, the layer this will have no effect uh, on the selection just move the layer but if i try to drag one layer onto another layer it will say that layer is not empty hold modifier key to combine extract or uh, combine um, intersect or sub subtract so let's see shift and control will be an addition if i hold middle mouse button hold shift and control and just drag and drop on this uh, layer over here you'll see that now this is my new selection and this is my new selection set over here easy like that you can create uh, like different selection sets and of course it works for objects as well as components it works for vertices faces edges everything and let's an, uh, try another thing so let's put them near uh, those sets near each other and let's see I will select both of them and remember the pattern so this is like a zero and this is like a one like just like that and if I hold for example let's just hover and check shift and alt I will see I will have a sub subtraction so I will subtract layer uh, one from layer zero shift alt drag drop and now you'll see that subtracting quick set one from quick set zero and you'll see that now my uh, layer zero is changed accordingly now we have a subtra subtraction just like that and the intersection is uh, very simple let's just clear those uh, things over here and let's select this and let's select this and add them to the separate layers se separate selection sets you'll see that if we hold uh, control plus plus alt we will get an intersection and if we do that let's try it we will get an intersection in the layer zero and as, as you can see now those are the faces that were the same in those sets so now uh, that you can use a drag and drop you can also use click commands so for example if i do something like this right and put it in the zero uh, zero layer over here uh, what I can do and is now just make a selection and hover over this layer and see, let's see, shift and control addition. I will click shift and control and click. And you will see that I now add to this layer, just like that. No need to create additional layer, additional selection set. It will just uh, be added. Now, if I want to sub subtract something, for example, I want to subtract this selection from this uh, selection set. I will, I will click shift uh, alt and click over here and you will see that now we have this selection in and if I want intersection I will have something like this and hold Control alt and click and only those faces will be left because they are the intersecting ones very easy to use and also the 
small addition to the layer system to the selection set system is using alt modifier you can now quickly show and hide your selection set for example if i do something like this and add this you'll see that if i click alt and click it will quickly show and hide the components or objects that are inside of those sets so very nice addition to this uh, selection set system i think and it will be very useful for power users so yep so this is it for this update for my 2023 and uh, GS Toolbox 1.1.6. Now, uh, you might uh, ask what about the Booleans, the new Boolean system in Maya that um, they actually added, uh, the modifier stack Booleans. Uh, if we can just go over here and let's go difference, right? And we have this modifier stack uh, like a Boolean system with all of these things. And you might ask, what about the booleans that we had in uh, Jestlebox uh, before that actually worked uh, the similar way? Well, it will just use the, the, the old system and it will work as uh, good as the Maya native system and it will be improved upon, of course. It still uses the old boolean um, node, so it, you will not have this modifier stack just yet. Maybe I will update, um, update it later. Mm, but for now, it works just as fine as the new system and you can actually add new booleans without any issues and actually delete the the old cutters uh, with no uh, problems. So just uh, I don't know, use this system or the new system that uh, is up to you. So this is it for this update. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.